Desert flatlands outside Tucson, Arizona, the site of a second generation missile, Titan II. Titan II is simpler than Titan I, a diesel locomotive compared to an obsolete steam engine. Titan II does not have to be lifted to ground level. It blasts off from deep inside its silo. Countdown time is not 15 minutes, but less than one minute. The Titan II silo blast door was designed to withstand a nearby nuclear blast, weighing nearly 1.5 million pounds. The door was a modern marvel of engineering. Because of the sheer weight of each silo blast door, they were constructed on site to strict specifications. Thick steel was used in its construction. Thousands of pounds of welding rod were consumed to weld each piece together in the scorching Arizona summer heat. When decommissioned, it was determined that each silo blast door would be removed. These mammoth doors were cut apart piece by piece using oxyacetylene or map gas torches. Most of the steel that made up these doors was scrap at local steel yards. After the silo door was removed, demolition crews prepared the top portion of the silo for removal. Using core drills, they drilled into the rear cement structure, which would allow explosives to be placed strategically around the silo opening. After the blast, the top 20 to 25 feet of the silo was demolished. Large machinery then pushed this rubble and debris into the launch shaft, exhaust ducts, and into level 2 of the silo equipment area. Then a 3 foot thick concrete cap, reinforced with rebar, was poured over what remained of the silo structure. Soil was then backfilled above the missile silo to grade level, or somewhat above, allowing for compaction over time. So here's a piece of steel that we found out at the missile base. We dug it up uh, a couple months back, and this thing weighs a ton. It weighs a lot. Uh, I haven't measured how thick it is yet, but I got a tape measure here. Looks like it's about two and a half inches thick. I'm thinking this was part of the blast door for the missile silo. As you can see right here, there's a bunch of built up welds. So this must have been a joint. And then uh, here's some of the slag from when they originally cut it. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna end up making a bench out of this sucker. So I'll show you guys how we make a bench out of it. We'll put that out at the missile base when we're all done with it.